Amy Marks, and I'm the VP of Industrialized Construction Strategy and Evangelism at Autodesk, also known as the Queen of Prefab. I'm going around the world to some of the coolest factories, and I'm meeting with owners, designers, builders, and manufacturers to get a behind the scenes look at what goes into fabricating the future. Join me, the Queen of Prefab. Welcome to Texas, where barbecue is big, but the innovation here is bigger. We are so happy to be at TD Industries today. We get to take an amazing tour and see what they're doing on their journey for productization. This company is a perfect example of convergence. Convergence of technology, convergence of process, and you can see how the convergence has affected their business model. They're not subcontractors here. These are manufacturers working in the AEC space. So you can see, we insulate it, we run it through our uh, adhesive machine and it goes on to assembly. Uh, from assembly, again, we have the scanners where they scan it, pack it, put it on a pallet, it goes out the back door. This is not just like putting a bunch of subcontractors into a warehouse. They are true manufacturers. They've productized, they have technology, they have a connected platform where their information seamlessly moves across the Autodesk products. I'm a combination welder. I'm a stick welder, MIG, and I also got my pipe fitting certification. I'm a plumber apprentice. You're just basically a resident badass. That's what it <laughs> says, resident badass on your ticket. This is just another great example of how industrialized construction is bringing young people to the space as well as diverse populations. She is the most experienced welder they have at that manufacturing facility. She's a role model. She wants to do more and she's a partner at that company like everyone else you saw. Welcome to the Advancing Prefabrication Show here in Dallas. People are coming from all around the world to talk about industrialized construction. I'm the ambassador of this conference, and I'll be delivering the keynote address. For years and years, I've been saying design for manufacturing and assembly. That's wrong. Oh my God, Amy March just said DFMA is wrong. You heard me say at the show, I'm no longer going to say design for manufacturing and assembly. It's about the data, the data of productization informing design. Designers need that manufacturing information so that they can inform their design for the best possible design. And then use advanced tools like generative design to pick the best combination of those products so that they can have the best built environment for the end users. This productization effort that's happening right now, we hear a lot of common you know, buzzwords about buildings as products and, and how to keep things organized. We really feel like that there's you know, product data management, product lifecycle management efforts that are really valuable to this next age of digital transformation. Tell us what's happening now. Well, I think the most amazing part is I come to the show and, you know, so we, you were asking me a question five years ago, what did I design in? I designed in fabrication and AutoCAD. Hey, two years ago, if you would ask me, it would have been, what are you designing in? And I would have told you, we're in a Revit now, we're doing Revit, wow, this is great. And I come here today and we're designing an Inventor. And that just tells the whole story, right? Because Inventor is manufacturing. Our customers are looking for better business outcomes. They want to transform their business. They see convergences happening and their business models are changing. It's not enough just to talk about the new possible and what that vision looks like. We need to give them a framework of how to actually get there. It starts with the foundational skills and tools. We move up to productization and digitization, as well as connection to a platform. Only then can you truly optimize, automate, and get to circularity for reuse of the data. We integrate with our designers, we integrate with our trades, even our owners, right. by just putting it in the cloud and making it available to where you can work across multiple cities in a city, like in the United States and have everybody in the same file working together. In that common data environment. That's so important for you, yes. for sure. 
So my main focus is healthcare, um, but our mission critical, our advanced industries, we're seeing a lot more there. Um, we have seen some multifamily housing, um, but I think that the, the advanced industries and the mission critical and the healthcare are really driving the industry as to where we're going. I agree with you. I think anything that's got heavy MEP mm -hmm. integration, mm -hmm. you need these workflows to work for those prefabricated elements. Data, data, it's all important. And to be able to utilize data and to be able to um, really gather that data and be able to use it individually in a manner in which we can develop this kit of parts or develop these pieces, these components, right. and be able to design those components, be able to create those components or componentize our business makes it much easier to assemble a completed delivery in a kit of parts fashion. I love doing workshops. Autodesk is a customer-centric company. We need to hear from our customers. I want to see what they're doing. I want to understand some of the challenges and some of the successes so we know what to build upon. That's so important. I feel like at this workshop, we heard a lot of things. We heard everyone talking about productization. We also heard them say that there's a need for a connected platform and that they want more data and that they recognize that the only way they will have optimized industrialized construction is if we can get that productization and that data up front to inform design. Yeah, the complexity goes way up. This is gonna be a good conversation we yeah. have right now. I asked my friends at Brassfield and Corey and Gensler to do this workshop with me. Stan Chu is a great example of an architect that recognizes he needs that data to inform his design so that he's enabled and freed to do the design he became an architect to do. Where do you get that information from? And do you want to just consume that information? Because you can't generate it, right? That's impossible for you to know every thickness of every glass of every, the curtains the, from every manufacturer, right? Well, the, the, the clear, honest, simple answer is I don't know. I don't know I how that that's going to work. <laughs> what we're doing now, we're beginning to treat, for years we've heard, just design it and we'll figure out how to prefab it. Do whatever you want and we'll figure it out. That doesn't work. Right. Because the rules, the data, the information comes in after the design is done and then it throws us into this monster. And that's not cycle. working. It's a nightmare. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Hey, thanks for doing this. I love walking around this show and seeing the booths that are there in the exhibition center. You'll notice a theme. A lot of our partners in technology, a lot in the robotics and automation space, all over contact. That's really important for us. We need to move this forward. That data includes things like additive manufacturing techniques, as well as robotics and automation for advanced building methodologies for industrialized construction and prefabrication. Pretty easy. I mean, for our system, it's integrated into the cut. It moves the machine, it prints the label, and it marks it as complete in the system. I love that. So everything is tracked the whole way through. People are actually talking to one another. They're solving. They're figuring out these challenges. They're sharing their success. I loved walking up and seeing that happening right in front of my eyes. We also been utilizing the uh, technologies there with the fusion and the inventor with the whole technology to all of our manufacturing process. tools. That's fantastic. In the keynote and the closing, the group saw me talk about how I've rearranged the chess pieces. Let's say industrialized construction is chess, and I'm a chess master. I came to Autodesk because I want to play chess. I want to enable the whole entire ecosystem to also play chess. I showed them how Autodesk has all the pieces to play chess. But if they truly want to be a Convergence customer, they need to rearrange those chess pieces slightly, and they need to have all those chess pieces to really become manufacturers that work within the AEC space. The future is product-led. When in Texas, a girl gets to buy some boots. I wonder if they have some with diamonds on them. It's kind of more my style. This is what we talk about when we say you have to make hard decisions. Yeah, boots, y'all.
can't come to Texas without eating barbecue. So good. That was a lot of fun. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Texas was amazing. We bought boots and we talked a lot about industrialized construction. It's taking over the world. <laughs>